Good day, campers. Today is tool day at the campsite. Specifically, I want to talk about PEX, plumbing lines, supplies, and tools. Most RVs today, the plumbing system is primarily PEX. Um, so I'd like to talk about my suggested tool kit and supplies. Uh, first thing is, you know, you go to Walmart, get some kind of a tackle box so that you have trays and various places to store your supplies and your parts. Now let's talk specifically about tools. This is the PEX crimping tool. It's designed to crimp these cinch rings that go on your half inch PEX. This particular tool I bought on Amazon and they go for $21. Next thing I'd like to talk about is the cutter. I'm sure there's other ways to cut these lines. Uh, this, this, in my opinion, is an inexpensive way to make sure you always get a good cut. This thing's available on Amazon for $8. This is a tool that I kind of stumbled across after I had been working on these lines for a while and using all kinds of uh, Rube Goldberg ways to cut these rings off. This tool is specifically made to cut those rings. After you've crimped it, you have that little nipple sticking out. This goes right on that nipple and cuts that right off. It's not very big, so you can get down into the small areas where you have to work to work on a lot of this plumbing. This tool is available for $23 on Amazon. The next tool I want to talk about, not a lot of people would think about it. <coughs> These RVs, a lot of them use this flexible reinforced rubber hose. They say it's because it bends better. The problem with that hose is that they're putting it on PEX fittings, and over time they tend to leak. Something that I've done is I have gone to the local hardware store and in some cases on Amazon and I bought what plumbers call service line. Some of mine are stainless steel. The biggest majority of them are PVC reinforced. Uh, they have FIP connectors on one end, sometimes on both ends. And in a lot of cases where I put in shutoff valves in my bathroom, I use the half inch FIP on one end and the three eighths connector on the other. This tool is specifically made for working on that um, service line. It will also work on the PEX connectors in your wet bay or under your sink. Next, let's talk about supplies. First thing is the crimp rings. You just, <laughs> you cannot have enough of these crimp rings. I buy them from Amazon. I usually buy them in the 100 pack for $18.66. You can get a 50 pack for $11.99. Then we have the straight. This straight fitting if you have to splice two hoses together because you don't have enough or the right length, or if you're removing a fixture or a fitting, these come in really, really handy. Get them on Amazon in a 10-pack for $11.71. And we have the 90 degree, you know. If you're replacing a rubber hose or making a big bend, you really need this 90 degree. They're also available in a 10-pack on Amazon for $16.21. This is the T. Uh, if you're going two directions with your line or rebuilding a line that already has a T, this is what you would use. They come in five packs on Amazon for $14.99. This is kind of a handy little tool, a little part that I stumbled across one day buying supplies at the local hardware store. It's a plug. All it does is cap off a piece of PEX line. If you don't have the right fitting, or if you're trying to make an emergency repair at the campsite and can't get to the local hardware store, cut the line, plug this in there and crimp it, 
and you can at least finish your camping trip. The last thing I want to talk about is you want to make sure that you actually have PEX line in the trailer. You can buy them at the local hardware store. I have not bought them from Amazon because shipping's expensive. Get them in 10 foot pieces or 100 foot rolls. Again, this is my suggestion for a recommended toolkit and supplies. Thanks for listening. Hope this helps you with your toolkit. And as always, please remember to like and subscribe.